So this is going to be fun because this was a film that I had a lot of fun with. Uh, it was a first time watch for me. I'd heard so many good things about it. Uh, and this was a, I mean, like, this was a really, really fun watch for me. I mean, I seriously, this film got me thinking. I mean, it just, my mind was going like a hundred miles a minute, you know, just thinking of different outcomes and just what was actually going on in The Swimmer. Now, uh, this has Burt Lancaster in it. And I believe the, uh, so it was um, directed by Frank Perry and uh, the screenplay was by Eleanor Perry. And uh, I believe they're actually a married couple uh, well, in real life, you know? So uh, yeah, this is, oh, man, this was amazing. This was absolutely amazing. So even before I start this video, I would recommend watching this. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a full recommendation. You should definitely check this film out. But the thing that I like the most about The Swimmer is I had seen a post, and I forget who made it, but uh, I seen somewhere where this was like one of the most disturbing films ever. And when you watch this film and you don't, if you don't pick on to certain things, you, I can understand why people would be like, okay, that is kind of the dumbest thing I've ever heard because this film has no blood. It has no gore. Well, I think it might have a little bit of blood. It's hard to explain. Uh, but seeing Burt Lancaster's character, uh, you know, he, the goal for the film, where he's headed, is he wants to swim across county. He wants to swim in everybody's swimming pool, and he wants to, uh, you know, just make it back to his house that way. And, and throughout the journey, you hear more about his life. You hear about, you know, his wife, his kids. Um, and you sort of get to, in a way, you, you, you do figure out the backstory of this man from what he says. But is he a reliable narrator? You know, is he, uh, can you trust what he says? And that's sort of what I took away from this film. And that's all I really give, I feel comfortable saying. Um, this film is very, like I said, it's going to get you thinking. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can pick up on in this film. I, I'll actually go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to cut this part short and I'm going to get into spoilers. Um, just check out The Swimmer. Check, if you're looking for a thought-provoking, uh, I was about to say swim, a thought-provoking film, definitely check this out. Definitely check this out. It is worth the watch. Now, if you guys do not want to be spoiled, click away now. Click away now. I'm not going to get into the ending. I'm not going to get into anything else. But if you guys don't want some, like, you know, I, I would consider them heavy spoilers because they were so much fun to pick up on the first time around. Click away. So you've been warned. Now, some of the stuff that I picked on in this film is how selfish the main character is. He's swimming in everybody's pool. Um, he, he, you know, he just, that's his main goal. He doesn't want to stay. He doesn't want to get to know anybody. I mean, you know, he doesn't want to, you know, be a part of the conversation. He's just there to swim and go. And when he approaches all these different people, they're like, oh, we haven't seen you in a while. We haven't seen you. We haven't seen you. And, uh, and then he, he also offers a lot of these false promises. He's like, I'll see you again next week, or, uh, I'll write you a check or, uh, you know, I'll teach you or I'll let you come play tennis with my daughters. You know, he, he, he's very, in a way, manipulative, but you're forced to like this guy. You know, you, you're forced to, well, not necessarily like him, but you're forced to follow him. And I couldn't help but want his journey to end sooner. I didn't want him to complete this quest. Matter of fact, I started off wanting him to complete it. And then I just, I was like, no, no, this shouldn't go this way for this dude. This dude is not who he says he is. This dude is not... And, and you figure that out through the little, just small details that are, you know, scattered throughout the film. Like, also, for instance, another uh, thing that this film does is he has a habit of taking things and not finishing them. He'll take a drink. He won't finish it. He'll take a, an alcoholic beverage. He won't finish it. And then he goes to this one uh, place in particular and he wants their hot dog stand because he said it's his. And he's willing to buy it. He's crashing a party for that. It's just all these little things that just, it baffles me that the, the filmmaker, like I, I, even in my last video that I did, that talking about how you put trust in your audience. Let me tell you something. This film, if it was like, if you, you know how you have like different reading levels and stuff, which I'm not trying to like, I don't know. I feel like that sounds so pretentious to say that there's a different level of film. Although I do think Tarkovsky's on a whole new level, but, uh, you know, you have like a fifth grade reading level, you know, you have like a high school reading level, a college reading level. 
I do feel like in the most non-pretentious way possible. I feel like that this is one of those films where, you know, it, it is on another level. And if you just don't really pay attention to anything in this film and you're just sort of in it for the ride, which it is an entertaining ride, you're probably not going to get as much out of this film as somebody that's really trying to focus and, you know, just keep an eye out for things. And, you know, and, and, and for me personally, maybe the first, if I've watched this film without having people say it was one of the most disturbing films ever, I'm, I probably wouldn't have picked up on this stuff. I'll be completely honest. Uh, so, so definitely, you know, like if you've stuck around towards the end of this video, um, you know, then you've, you've got all the little details plucked out. So maybe when you watch this, I mean, if you're, it, like I said, if you're, st if you've stayed for the video and you've not seen it. Uh, it does ruin the element of surprise and, you know, the satisfaction of figuring this stuff out on your own. But I think you might be able to understand the story a little bit better. Uh, now, if you're somebody that's seen this film and, uh, you know, you want somebody to watch it or you think it'd be worth recommending to somebody, make sure, you know, just tell that person, just be like, hey, keep an eye out for things. Uh, you know, just, you know, don't spoil anything, but just tell them to keep an eye out for things because I feel like this is a very rewarding film. Uh, and this is a really cool addition, too. Uh, I'm not sponsored by, you know, Grindhouse releasing or anything, but I think this is my second Grindhouse releasing film. I have this and I have pieces. Uh, but yeah, this is like, I mean, it's a really cool edition. It's got like the soundtrack and the soundtrack is really cool too. I've listened to it in my car before. Uh, but yeah, guys, definitely check out The Swimmer. Uh, this is one of the most pleasant watches I've had in a long, long time. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Hope you guys are staying safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.